video just in the past couple of hours of American troops returning to North Carolina from Europe. They've been deployed right as Russia invaded Ukraine. They come home at a time when Russian tanks are ripping through the eastern part of Ukraine at blazing speed. Ukraine's army is losing between two and 500 troops per day. So all those times we told you that Putin was done and Ukraine's army is taking over, well, times have changed. Big time. That was video of the Russians celebrating. Just to look at the map here, this area was where the Russians had advanced here in the western part of Ukraine. Obviously, that's been taken back by the Ukrainians. But this is what's significant. In the east, the, Ukra the Russians have filled in this whole area. They have gone through it like a combine through a cornfield. Their artillery continues to do that. We say cornfield. This is where a huge amount of the world's wheat comes from, about 20% from Ukraine. You can't occupy ground on social media, which is one of the things the Ukrainians were great about. You can't take bridges with cyber attacks. Russian tanks and soldiers have stormed through eastern Ukraine, and they have the advantage both logistically and also now uh, in terms of momentum. General Phil Breedlove's here, former Supreme Allied Commander of U.S. forces in Europe and NATO. Uh, boy, General, is there a danger in America seeming like it's moving on and bringing our troops home? Well, Leland, I hope that uh, we're going to see a rotation back there by another unit. Uh, as a part of the NATO uh, summit that just occurred in Madrid, we agreed to move a core headquarters over and to reestablish a rotational brigade over. So I think what we're going to try to do is just keep a more permanent presence through rotational force. And it was time for our paratroopers to come home to get ready for their their next mission. But, uh, you know, we need to keep an eye on this and make sure that all the commitments we made uh, are fulfilled as we go forward from uh, NATO summit. You think about this, $5.6 billion is our total financial commitment. Um, we say commitment, it's sort of our $5.6 billion, maybe our financial involvement. Uh, it's a little bit like perhaps breakfast. Uh, we're involved, the Russians are committed I'm thinking about Stalin, who said that uh, quantity is a quality in itself. He's got quantity on the battlefield right now. If he wants to take the East, and he pretty much has, what is there that the Ukrainians can do to end this? Well, what he's done now is sort of what we call, and you drew it on your map, he's made a smooth trace, and he's trying to uh, take uh, all those perturbations that the Ukrainian forces had into them uh, up around several Donetsk and some of those areas. And he has reduced them by this grinding artillery fight just because he so outguns the Ukrainians with artillery. Uh, that's what, how he's really advancing at this point. So the real question is, can he sustain the next push? He he has a manpower problem, and we're watching him gather man manpower from all around the world to put in the field. So, uh, does, does, does are... he really, though, does he have to push any farther uh, to still have his, have his victory? No. In fact, what we expect is very soon uh, he may stop because he's now consolidated that area and got that smooth trace and begin to be peaceful and sue for peace and try to woo the West back to normalcy, re-engage in commerce, take down uh, the tariffs and things that we have put on. And that's what we expect to see. We'll, we'll see him establish what he thinks he needs to hold on to, and then we'll see a charm campaign to try to regain the West uh, in the business world. What does it say that all of the money we put in, all of the expertise, all of the help, everything that, that we did and that you and I talked about, uh, in the end, and all of the, all of the you know, free Ukraine and stand with Ukraine and everything else that happened from every celebrity, Vladimir Putin can walk away a winner, basically. And that is the real concern. We, we knew and we hoped that we would get to some sort of a negotiated peace. And we were hoping to get uh, Ukraine into a position so they would have a strong position at the table. And Russia has established a pretty strong position at the table. Now, Leland, you and I both know he doesn't he have what he really wanted. 
He took us. He took a round beating in Kiev. He took a round beating around Kharkiv, and so he hasn't taken everything he wanted. Mm-hmm. But now I believe he will try to sue for peace with what he has. Yeah, well, uh, and and he will remain in power even after the president of the United States says uh, he couldn't. General, uh, we appreciate it. Uh, safe travels tomorrow. Uh, we'll update our viewers tomorrow night on uh, on where you were. It's a great story. We'll see you soon, sir. Thank you very much. And we'll be right back. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.